What up y'all, it's Kim Nonstop, and as of March 9th, I am officially Mom Nonstop. That's when I welcomed my beautiful flailing child into the world with eyes wide open. That's our friend, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> I like that they dress them in a gown. So my baby quite literally flew out of my body at a healthy six pounds, four ounces. And we named them Willa Carmen. Carmen is my dad's middle name and Willa, we liked the sound of it, the alliteration with their big sister, Winnie. Probably was a bad call though because we're already messing him up, calling him Willie and Winna. Uh, this is gonna go on for the rest of their lives. You're welcome, kids. This video is gonna be about the birth. So if you're not interested, move along to one of my previous fitness or cycling videos. And going forward, I'm gonna make weekly check-ins as I try to get back in shape and my baby grows. So, birth. We are headed to the hospital right now for a scheduled induction. Woo woo! I was hoping to go into labor spontaneously. I really wanted to. Um, however, as I got closer to the due date, I got mounting pressure from my doctors to induce based off of my age, that I'm 41 years old, and the fact that um, Willa was on the smaller side. For a three day hospital party, uh, it wasn't our plan definitely wasn't my plan but um i'm past due and i've tried everything so this is where we're at in westwood at 4 30 on a tuesday baby's going to get evicted <laughs> evicted eviction notice has been served <laughs> Every time I went in for an electronic fetal monitoring and they would pressure me, I would respond with a whole checklist of questions that I had from my doula to ascertain whether or not it was an emergency and I actually had to be induced right that minute. Um, the pressure began around 37 weeks and full term is 40 weeks, so I just kept buying myself more time. Every time I would ask the questions, I would discover that it was not in fact an emergency. The baby was healthy and it wouldn't affect my baby to continue on another day. So I chose to keep waiting. I felt completely comfortable in my pregnancy. I was still active and moving around. At no point did I feel like I needed to cut my pregnancy short with a induction. So I was just um, going in for my checkups and then in the meantime, I was doing everything I could to bring on some natural labor. Come on, gravity, do your job. So I was drinking raspberry leaf tea, uh, acupuncture visits. I ate dates multiple times a day, even though I think they're gross. Not the taste because they look like cockroaches. I would walk, curb walk every single day, which is where you're like walking with one leg on the curb. You look kind of kooky and your neighbors all think you're nuts. Nipple stimulation with a breast pump, I had sex. The only thing I didn't do was take castor oil because I don't know, the athlete in me didn't like the idea of starting off a major physical event by being dehydrated from having diarrhea. But nothing worked and to bring on labor and my due date came and I pushed it a few more days and at 40 weeks and two days, I finally acquiesced to an induction. Fred and I, we went for a hike and then we went to the hospital with our bags fully packed. We had iPads, chargers, speakers, meals, drinks. Like we were, we looked like we were moving in. <laughs> but I'd heard all these stories of inductions. They could take literally up to three days. So I really wanted to have labored at home. And since that wasn't happening, I brought home with me. Things began around 8 p.m. with a Foley balloon and I think a dose of misoprostol internal. The Foley balloon is a mechanical induction method where they stick a balloon into your uterus and blow it up. That wasn't really comfortable, as you can imagine. But by midnight, I was dilated to four centimeters and the balloon came out. So it happened really quick, four hours, tons of cramping, kind of like really bad period. And then at that point, they recommended that I start Pitocin. And it felt like I had a brief break from the pain. The Pitocin started slowly, but then once the contraction started, they came on strong and they were quick. So they were like, 
just over a minute apart and I was like, oh my god, this is gonna just hammer on, isn't it? And I kept asking, I remember I kept asking them to, can you turn the Pitocin down? And they were like, I mean, the whole point of an induction is to like, to produce the baby, so if we turn it down, and I was like, but it hurts. They wanted to do another cervical check at this point, and I remember refusing because I was thinking before I was four centimeters, now what does it matter if I'm six or seven or eight? Uh, I had just started feeling pretty strong contractions regularly and I just didn't feel like I needed someone's hand up inside me to uh, make me tense up. I was trying to relax. The doula told me also that you know this would happen throughout so I was ready and prepared to say no to a couple of the th cervical checks and the nurse was like but we have to and then I was like I don't want to and then the OB came in and said we don't have to so if this is ever you in this position, just know you can advocate for yourself and know what um, what's necessary. I asked for nitrous gas so that I could start with that for pain management and was breathing um, through the little mask thing. And I don't feel like the, the gas itself helped really <laughs> with the, the pain. I don't feel like it did. But the breathing through the mask helped me focus on my breathing. So that part was beneficial. But I only lasted about two hours like that before I was like, I'll take an epidural. Just got an epidural, so I'm actually able to talk now. <laughs> was not able to talk for a few hours there. Um, the doula arrived, Natalie is here. Fred is here. Still here. Still here. <laughs> um, consider ourselves lucky because we actually got to sleep a little. And um, looks like I don't know. Hopefully we can get the show on the road today. Shaking. But. I was never anti-epidural to begin with. I wanted to see how far I could get, but I was fully aware that like laboring in a hospital where there's an epidural like just outside the door, I knew that that would be too much of a temptation for me to say no to. Like I knew as an athlete having done intense physical challenges that if there was a way to make it slightly easier and get the same result at the end, I would do that. I would take that opportunity. I mean if it meant I would have a different result then I would continue on but same result with less um, pain, yes please, I would take that option. I definitely felt like it only worked on one side, but I had heard about this happening before because at this point things were progressing quickly, I could feel it. <laughs> Time to come out. <laughs> and I just was like, it's fine, I'm getting two experiences in one, natural childbirth and medicated childbirth. It was so cool. I was shocked. Oh, that sweet, sweet baby. Hey, so just to let you know, we are gonna sort of um, wait until the court stops. Cool. This is when I realized I still had a sports bra on. Hi. Had to hike the sports bra up and let Willa nurse for a little while. And I don't think I've worn a sports bra since that day. <laughs> oh, I just blew on you and that was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at your face! Look at your face. You're perfect. Huh? Just like you're dead, you cry. <laughs> <laughs> BB measured 18 inches long and 6 pounds, 4 ounces, very healthy. And we spent our full stay at the hospital, which was three nights, including the one night I labored, so two extra nights after that. Um, really glad we brought like the kitchen sink with us, even though like a few of the things we didn't use, but like iPad, we watched some shows and we had our like vegan snacks. You got it all? Amazing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm convinced the reason we had a shorter labor is because we packed everything for a long labor. <laughs> the first overnight was wild. Like, I've seen a lot of funny TikTok videos about this. Hey girl, it's Jessica from Starbucks. I heard you had a baby. Room service, do you have any trash? Room service. Time to check your belly. <laughs> so I know we said discharge is gonna be at 12. 12 was three hours ago. Hey girl, it's Brandy again. Um, back in here just to check to make sure your heart is still beating. 3 a.m., time for your check. Just wanna know what, oh baby, you're sleeping, it's okay. Wake up. Sleep isn't as important as this ice water. They woke me up more than the baby did. It was absurd. Fred and I finally put a do not disturb sign scrawled onto the door because we were getting like no sleep. It was not a negative induction though. I will say like if you end up having to get one, like go for it. And you know, the epidural was cool. It really did help on one side. And now I have a beautiful baby that also keeps me up at night, but not nearly as much as the hospital staff. And I'll be doing weekly check-ins as I raise Willa Carmen, not until they're 18, really probably just for as long as I can handle it. Cause YouTube actually has been so helpful for me every middle of the night when I'm up nursing, I'm watching videos on what to expect and how to get through this. And I know everyone's experience is different, but it's really helped me to watch other people's experiences. So maybe, just maybe, it'll help you watch mine. Plus I'll be talking about it from a fitness perspective uh, and getting back uh, to my pre-baby body, which I am definitely not at and don't expect to be immediately. I've got this very stretchy onesie from Free People and I absolutely live in it. It is the one piece of clothing that I have worn since giving birth. <laughs> Otherwise, it's robes for me, robes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kim Nonstop. Remember to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and I will see you here next week. Bye. Look at you looking at the world, looking at us. Be anything you want. An astronaut, a dry queen. <laughs> A lawyer, both, all fit. How about right now you just be a baby? <laughs>